Hello, I hope everyone is having a good day. Today, I wanted to talk generally about the fundamental truths of life itself and what that means for you. What helps you to make decisions in life? By what um, criteria do you use as your guiding force, as it were, to dictate or to narrate, guide your actions every day? Is it money? Because money is a big one. But are you truly, and this is a genuine, genuine question, are you truly every day truly acting on your highest, most free, most calm, most peaceful, happiest, generous, loving self, at all times, every day. Do you walk the earth as if, almost, you exist on the kingdom of heaven? Metaphorically speaking, of course, but if the answer to any of those questions is no, then I would ask, why not? It's a rhetorical question, really, because I already know why not. Mm. There's one fundamental truth to life, and it is incredibly simple, and it has been the same and only truth that there has ever existed for throughout the whole of history for thousands and thousands and thousands of years and that truth is written in your own heart at the center of your own being and resistance to that truth based on fear, based on belief systems, based on ideologies, based on the idea of having to do something, having to be something, is the fundamental and only cause of suffering in the world, in all sorts of forms, both physical illnesses, emotional dis-easement, and mental. In fact, unless you can not just go to bed tonight, but sit here, be here, act from, at every single moment of every single day from a space of pure joy, happiness, openness, freedom, ease, lack of suffering, truth, righteousness perhaps, then you may be not centered right now. It's so amazing how so few seem to have time even for this fundamental truth. And yet, every single time when tested, 
it is the only thing that is true. Every single time. You can test the theory of should I believe in this, should I have these doubts, the skepticism, the all of the rest. And you can test those theories millions and millions of times, and the same result will come out every single time, in every single different language, in every single different way. The entire universe is pointing to one specific truth, and it is a specific truth that is not just, it's not a burden to know, it is a joy to discover. It is to discover that there is no authority figure on earth at all. You don't have a boss. You don't need a boss. You don't have a leader. You don't need a leader. You don't need to be anything because when you truly discover what I'm talking about, which is can be metaphorically described as a light inside your own heart that is always, always right. It will do and present itself in whatever form that is necessary for the situation. In a wartime, it will find the right place and it will do the right set of actions for that period. In peacetime, it will find and be the right set of actions for that time. And, ev you know, every other iteration... There's never any situation on Earth at all that could ever exist where the answer is not simply given to you if you just learn to listen. So don't follow your mind. Don't do what other people tell you to do. There is one authority, one, and it's you. And when I say you, I don't mean the mental image of yourself. I don't mean you as a person. I mean the real essence. I mean the infinite soul which is at the very core of your, of your being. Don't ignore it. Because it is the fundamental and only way. It is the only way. The only way. If people truly lived by this, as this, as their only navigating compass in life, the world would look completely different. I'm talking about an end to suffering, an end to guilt, an end to pain, an end to confusion. An end to doubt. The answer to every question. The home. The love. The contentment, the happiness, the peace. The victory. The generosity, the love. The patience. 
all are different faces of the same thing. But the, the thing that I'm talking about, I can't describe in one word because it's just too all-encompassing to put a label on. I couldn't draw a sign that would adequately symbolize that which I'm talking about. It could show or point to in some way, but it, it can never fully represent the core truth which is vaster than any ocean. And yet simpler than anything else on the on the earth. <sighs> Live by this and you will not suffer ever again. If you don't think that miracles are real, you just haven't been paying attention. Because life itself is miraculous. Anyone who doubts these things will doubt until their own doubts lead them down such a dark path that they realise the truth at some point along the way. You don't have to be anything other than what you already are. You just have to be what you actually are and stop pretending. I hear so many people pretending. I hear so much so many people pretending to be something other than what they are because they think that that's what they have to be to whatever, to whatever, because they've been taught that this is what people have to do. Putting themselves through endless things that they don't want to do, that aren't real to their soul. Just stop it. I'm getting aggravated because I care about people, I care about the world, and I care about people, and I care about other people's happiness. Let go of everything that you are not, and you discover the truth of what you are. And then from that truth, realize that everything changes. Act from your passion at every single moment of every single day. Don't get pulled in by fear or doubt. Be perfect. As you are already. Because perfection is effortless. And if you understood what I meant by perfection, you wouldn't think that you needed all of these things in order to achieve it. It's more you have to let go of all of these things and you will find it. I'm going to be giving talks soon in, in Manchester to start, and if anyone wants to meet and discuss these sorts of things in any shape, way, shape or form, now's the time to reach out because Something's coming. 
something that is well needed on earth and I'd like to share it with everyone that has the ears to hear the heart to understand the eyes to see and the willingness and the bravery to live a life of true of truth a life of truth <laughs>